Hey everyone, welcome back. All right, we're all having a blessed day. All right, guys, got a little uh, little video for you today. Something uh, something simple, but could be something cool. We'll find out. Uh, you guys, tell me what you think. All right, so um, when I was rebuilding my transmission uh, a year or so ago, I had dropped, kept dropping a lot of hardware and bolts up under there when I was trying to put it all back together, little tiny nuts. So I was like, you know what? It'd be really nice to have some magnetic sockets. But um, I'll post it up here in the corner. Um, I was looking on Amazon, of course. They didn't really have a whole lot of selection. They did have, I believe it was SunX, and they were up around $200 for the deep and the shallow metric uh, sockets. Uh, I thought they were, that was a bit expensive, and they were just, I think they were quarter inch and 3 inch drive. Um, so I didn't end up getting those. I got these, but then I actually ended up finishing the car up before they actually came in. So I never actually really got to use them. So like I said, they've been sitting on my shelf. I think I bought them July, June or July of last year. So it's been over a year that they've been sitting in here. Uh, prices for these, they were I paid $17.99. They're still $17.99 on Amazon, but I've seen them uh, th different name brands or whatever their name brands, but they're all they all look the same. The blue and the Blue and the green. Uh, I've seen it from $15.99 all the way up to $19.99. Um, and I think it's 18 uh, insert pieces here. Uh, you have 5 16 3 8 7 16 half inch, 9 16 5 8 11 16 3 quarters, 13 16 and then you got 7 8 and you got 8 millimeter all the way up to 19 millimeters. So it gives you a pretty much. Uh, Pretty, pretty good range of sockets here that you can use this on. Um, also, it, it came in this plastic bag here that is resealable. So it's not a, a like a flimsy, uh, cheap plastic. This is actually, I'm actually going to, when I take them out, I'm going to put them back in here and uh, keep them in this so I don't lose them. Uh, now you are going to have to, they come all stuck together. You are going to have to take a razor knife or whatever and cut each one uh, separated. Out. So I'll go through that with you as well. Um, as far as warranty, it doesn't really say anything about um, a warranty. Like I said, they got a little diagram on here. Basically, it's just a press fit. You just press them into the socket, and they're supposed to say in there. I was looking on Amazon or whatever, and there's a video on there. I'll put the picture on there now, and pretty much you can press it in there. You can have it at the very top of the socket, or you can jam it you know, all the way. wherever You can pretty much put it in there wherever you want. Uh, like I said, if you had it just putting a nut on, you might want to leave it at the top. But if you're putting a long bolt there, you might want to shove it, you know, push it all the way to the bottom or whatnot. So it is, uh, they're supposed to be adjustable. You can move it to where you would need it. Um, we'll see how good they stay in there. I have a, a bunch of different kinds of sockets. Uh, here, I'll give you, I'll show you what I got here. We got some um, Craftsman Williams, uh, Capri Tecton. Uh, we got some impact sockets you now and just... Uh, those, we're just going to be test fitting those sockets there and then also I just got some uh, random hardware I don't have every size uh, I do just, just got a couple no, no, no little sizes whatnot we'll just try them out just to uh, see how they feel see if they fall out real easy like I said we're going to test fit a couple different brands and see which ones they work better in but anyway guys let's open this up and get started all right guys so I just opened it up um, I don't know if you can see that on here or not uh, but all the sizes are on each one of these so it's easy to figure out which one goes to what the blue ones are the metric and the green ones are the standard and as you can see the sizes are on each one and like i said you are going to need some kind of razor knife or whatever just to uh cut cut each one individually out and like that but like i said the much problem you're going to have is once you get them all cut out they're just going to be uh you know sticking to each other so you're gonna have to i would just put them in put them right back in this bag here and as you need them you'll be able to find the ones you need um like i said they're uh they're color coded so it should be pretty easy let me go ahead i'll cut these all out and then we'll come back and we'll just try a couple different sizes of the socket and we'll just see if they fit in there or if they're just gonna fall right out uh all right guys i'll, I'll see you all right that took about Took about 10 minutes or so, a couple minutes to cut it all up. I may have to trim these a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there are so little, a couple little nubs left on the side of these. I didn't really trim it too much. I guess if you leave a little bit on there, it'll help it with the fitment if it, uh, in case it's a little bit loose on some of them. But anyway, I figured I'd start off with um, doing the largest size and then maybe the smallest size for fitment. So for the standard, it's going to be a 7 eighths 
And then this one says a 15 16. So we're going to try those two sockets with that first, just uh, fitment for the sockets. And then for the metric as well, um, we're going to do a 19 millimeter and then it says an 8, eight millimeter. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get a couple different sockets set up and we'll just do the largest and the smallest size first. And then uh, we could check some of the middle ones, you know, sockets that you would use, uh, that I use a lot, like a 15 millimeter and some stuff like that. And uh, we'll go ahead and see how they fit. So let me go ahead. I'll pull all the sockets out, and then I'll lay them out, and then I'll come. We'll come back, and we'll start uh, test fitting. All right, guys. So I got a couple different uh, sockets here. I don't really got most most of the ones I have are going to be standard, but I do have some metric sockets. We're going to try this out. Um, you are going to need one of these here, something long, a screwdriver. I got a piece of welding rod that I bent up. That I'm going to use to uh, poke them out once I'm done with them. Um, and also it says this will work with six point or 12 point sockets too. So that was also, that was also on the website that I seen. So what do I have here? I have a craftsman, uh, standard size socket, 19 millimeter. And then I got a, a, a mid length gear wrench, 19 millimeter. We got a Capri long five, uh, eight millimeter. And we got a gear wrench, mid length, and then we got a Craftsman 8mm. This was 3H drive. These two are 3H drive, and then these two are quarter inch drive. So let's start with the 9, 19mm first uh, on these two gear wrenches. And also, we got a 6 point and a 12 point here. So the gear wrench one here, there is the gear wrench one. And as you see, uh, it's tight. I got it right sitting right on top. Um, I'm not trying to force this down there in there because um, it may be, like I said, I'm pushing on it pretty hard and it doesn't want to go in there anymore. Uh, also, it all depends on the broaching, how deep the broaching is inside your, of yours too. If their broach is real shallow, these are not going to go all the way down in there. So let me, uh, let me pop this gear wrench out and we'll just take a quick look at the broaching on the gear wrench. The gear wrench is actually, uh, it's broaching is pretty deep down in there. But like I said, I put it right to the very top. It doesn't want to go down there. I could probably get a uh, try up, like maybe a punch or something, and just lightly tap it down in there. But I, this is only made out of plastic, so I don't want to damage it any. Um, but like I said, you would want it to go down in there a little bit, just so you could start the uh, start the nut. Um, let me if I can force it down in there a little bit. Like you see, I forced it down in there a little bit. It kind of got uh, sideways, cocked a little bit on me. So, and that's because, like I said, that one there has a little bit of a burr on that side. So we could probably pop this back out. And uh, probably can take the razor knife to this and just trim it up for a minute. Let me go get the razor knife back. Okay, I got the razor knife back. Let me, uh, like I said, this one had a little bit of a burr on the uh, piece that I shaved off. Let me just shave a little bit more of this off and see if it goes down in there a little bit easier. All right, let's try this one again. Put that one out of the way. Alrighty. And I, that little bit I shaved off there, it really doesn't want to, still doesn't want to go down in there. Try and use one of these. Uh, try to use a socket to push it down. I mean, a bolt, push it down in there. So you can, you can take a bolt and push it down in there. Uh, the bolt that'll match it. But like I said, kind of like, it doesn't sit flush. You got to kind of play with it to get it in there. But like I said, once you get it in there, it's in there. Um, and it's pretty strong magnet in there too, as far as, uh, as far as that goes. So that's the 19 millimeter for the, uh, for the gear wrench. Like I said, it's a really tight fit. So that's, that's pretty good. You're not going to, uh, that's not going to, at least it's not going to fall out on you. Let me uh, pop this one out and uh, try the Craftsman one and see how the fitment is on a 12 point socket here and the 12 point still really really tight but i can push that one all the way to the bottom of it that was uh it was pretty easy but it was still like i said it's very very tight fitment and we'll go ahead there you go like i said and that fits in there really well so so for under 20 bucks i, I think these are pretty cool uh just for like small jobs. But if you're going to be using these every day, it may be a good thing to invest in a set of magnetic sockets. But if you're just going to be doing this around the house, you know, once in a while, uh, I think these plastic inserts will work pretty well. Let's go ahead and switch over to the eight, 
millimeter make sure we got the right one here and it does say eight on it so we're going to go ahead and try these eight millimeter out and uh see what they feel like let me move these 19s out of the way um i don't know if i have any eight millimeter bolts so we're just going to be just going to be doing just a regular test fitment without out a bolt i don't think i have any uh, eight millimeter so here's a uh, here's a craftsman one here eight millimeter this is a newer style craftsman this is a uh, craftsman usa and that is pretty much it right there. It's going all the way down in there, and it's kind of flush to the top of this. So let me uh, pop this back out real quick. And as you can see, uh, shallow socket, the birching, it doesn't allow this thing to go all the way down in there to where you'll be able to get a bolt in it. So if you're going to use these little uh, inserts, I would say use them with a mid-length or a deep socket. That way you can get it, because if you try to use a shallow socket, uh, the birching may be... Would might cause you not to be able to, to use these because uh, it's not deep enough let's go ahead and we'll try this gear the gear wrench this is a shallow uh shallow eight on this gear wrench here and it is really really tight and as you can see i still have a little bit of a uh, plastic left on this side from when i was shaving it off let me see if i can shave this off and then we'll uh try and get it to go down in there again like i said these are really snug Plus, they're, um, like I said, they're magnetic. So if they are loose going down into the socket, they should stick to the socket. They shouldn't They shouldn't come out real easy anyway, I wouldn't think, because I was playing around with uh, oversized um, oversized ones, and they didn't want to uh, They didn't want to come out. So, like, so I just shaved a little bit off of this one, uh, and it's really, really tight. Um, but I, you probably would have to use these a couple times and break them in a little bit, like I said, because this one here is really, really tight. Uh, eight millimeter bolt. I could definitely force that down in there because I started forcing it down just with my uh, with my finger, and I got it to go down in there, probably a sixteenth of an inch on that side. There you go. Like I said, I just gave it a little shove there, popped it down in there about a quarter of an inch. You have a quarter of an inch shallow size there. And I still have a little bit, a little bit more. You really can't see because of the light, but yeah, it can go down in there a little bit more. It's a mid-length socket. Um, let's go ahead and we'll try the Capri here. That's that one. It's got a little bit of black stuff from built up. And this uh, Capri here, so that was a six point. The Capri is a twelve point. And see how good it fits in this twelve point socket here. Helps if I put it in the right way. So there's the 12 point. And. Ooh, there we go. Like I said, a little snug. But uh, starting to go in and there. There you go. I just pushed it down there about a quarter of an inch. But like I said, we got this whole thing. Is this uh, has a deep birch. It has about an inch deep down in there. Uh, birch for this 8 millimeter uh, Capri socket. So that went in there pretty good. It's a snug fit. Um, so. Let me uh, go ahead and pop this bag out. Pop that out. And just to show you guys, um, let's go to the next size up here. Here's a, here's a 9 millimeter. Just to show you guys that even if, like I said, even if it gets loose fit in there. Hold on. Let me get this out of here. <laughs> Pop this bag out. So there's that. He like said, even if you put it in the wrong one, it's not going to come out because it's going to want to stick to the metal anyway. So um, you might be able to get away get away with sticking uh, the next size up down on the uh, older style. That then it should hold the fastener. We'll try that with one of these bolts here. Just uh, we'll go to the next size up with the next size uh, down of these and see if the bolt will still stay in there. Um, let me go ahead. I'll set that up and then we'll come back and try it out. Okay, so here we go. I got me a uh, I got me a 13 millimeter. I'll show you guys that 13 millimeter gear wrench, and I got me the 12 millimeter insert. I'm gonna insert that into the gear wrench. If I can get it to go down in there. 
down in there like that. Like I said, it's a nice loose fit. Here's a 13 millimeter bolt. I'll stick that in there. And as you can see, it's going to stay in there. Well, I can actually, actually push it down in there. And you could use that. You could use the 13. Well, there you go. It just fell out. <laughs> Without shaking it, it'll stay in there. But if you shake it, it will come out. So if you put the 13 in there and you're trying to start a bolt, you might be able to get away with using a, a shorter a shorter bolt with uh, the wrong pleat insert. Like I said, but it's a looser fit. But it is kind of staying in there. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and we're going to switch over to the standard size ones with the impact sockets. And I'll show you guys what we got with that. All right, guys. So now I got the standard size here. We got seven eighths. I got the Tecton impact socket shallow Williams USA made seven eighths impact or regular chrome socket. And then we got a Craftsman USA um, shallow socket. These are all three H drive. And then I got Craftsman 5 16 Tecton 5 16 Williams 5 16 and then a gear wrench uh, mid link socket. That's the only one that's quarter drive. These are both three quarter drive. Like I said, uh, the broaching on these, if it's not deep enough, they will not fit in there. But these all have deep broaching. These are 12 point and this is a six point. So we'll go ahead and try them out just to see how well they fit in there. Ooh, and these are, uh, there you go. 7 8 and like I said, I got a 7 8 nut here also. We can uh, try these with a nut. There's the nut, and these work, these will work good with a nut too. It doesn't have to be a flat bolt, it doesn't have to be completely covering the magnet for it to stick in there. And you could definitely put that on there and use it to uh, start, and it's not going to pull the insert out. And like I said, the insert is in there really tight. And we'll go ahead and switch it to this 12 point Williams and see how it feels. Oh, and the Williams is really loose, but it went down in there pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and try the nut. On a, this is the first one I had where it fell in there pretty loose. So there's the nut, and we'll give it a shake, and it's uh, not going there. So the, this Williams one right here, I think that's a pretty good fit. It went in there really easy and came out, came out pretty easy. And then we'll go ahead and try impact socket here. Uh, 12 point there we go that went in there pretty good too I was a little bit tighter than the uh, Williams like I said went up oh, it definitely is sticking to it but if you shake it shake it too hard it will come out but it's staying in there pretty good so let me go ahead and we'll try the 5 16 the smaller size uh, the easier the bigger ones are easier to put in uh, the smaller ones are the ones that are a little bit tough to put in so let's go ahead and try I don't have a 5 16 uh, bolt sitting around handy, so I'm just going to go ahead and we'll just do it with a test fit here. Uh, the birching in this one's not super deep, so it may not go down deep enough. Uh, this one here, it's got a little nib from there from the piece that I cut off with the razor knife, so I probably need to trim this one up a little bit, see if we can get it to fit in there a little bit easier. I could trim all four corners if, if it was super tight. Uh, we'll try to flip this around. So there's that. Um, now, if you had a five, there you go. I just pushed that down in there with my finger, but this is the Craftsman socket, and it, that's about as far as it'll go because it's by bottom out. It's got about an eighth of an inch sticking up. That should be enough to catch catch the nut on it. You can at least catch the nut on it, get it started, then pop it out, uh, then pop it out to tighten it up the rest of the way. So that's that one, and then we'll go to the Williams. This is uh, another six-point socket. That one fit in there pretty easy. Uh, same thing. Uh, it has about a sixteenth of an inch, so a little bit less uh, birching on the Williams socket. Uh, and then we'll go with the Tecton impact socket. This is 12, 12 point. And that one fit in there really easy, and it got a nice... Uh, deep birch in that so you got about a quarter of an inch maybe a little bit more maybe almost three eighths of an inch deep down in there so that's pretty good and like i said that came out of there easy and then i got a mid-length gear wrench socket here uh this one's really tight uh, make sure i got the right one. Oh, this is 9 30 seconds let me uh that was in the wrong spot hold on there 
Uh, there's the five sixteenths. All right, got the right socket now. That fit in there really good. Uh, it's got a nice deep birch in it too. Uh, that's almost a uh, half of an inch uh, down there. Okay, guys, so uh, pop that back out. That's it. So that's pretty much going to end this video, guys. Like I said, around the house, uh, you're not using these every day. I, I would definitely say go for it. You're going to save yourself some money. You don't have to spend the $200 to buy the um, magnetic sockets that are built into the socket. I would definitely say go ahead and try these for around the house. Maybe even use them in a shop because it's something that you may not use every day. But with that being said, guys, I want to say thank you. God bless and have a great evening. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Matthew 29, 19. All right, guys, I know it can be a little daunting sometimes to uh, go and share your faith with someone when I know that you don't do it a lot or you haven't really done it. Uh, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get sharing it with people. But uh, I just pray that uh, if this... If you haven't heard the word or don't know the word, I pray that you would just uh, seek Jesus, uh, read his word, uh, talk to someone, join a local church, and just get to know him. But that's it, guys. I wanted to say thanks and God bless. Have a great day.